Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's reading lesson. This week we have been talking all about the characters in our books and how they are feeling. You got it. So we've learned that we can use the pictures and the details that we read in the words to help us notice when characters have a feeling and notice when those feelings change across the book. So today I want us to think about it's important to notice these things, and sometimes they're so important to the story, we don't want to forget it for later when we're talking about the story with someone else. So today we're going to talk again about how we can stop and jot something down while we're reading. So you're going to need a sticky note or maybe a notebook. Even your whiteboard and your marker will work. So today I'm going to read a little bit more of our book, Honey for Baby Bear, and I'm going to try to jot some quick notes on my sticky notes about what I'm noticing about the character's feelings. Watch me try this in my book. All right, friends, I've got our book, Honey for Baby Bear, again, and I'm ready to stop and jot when I'm thinking about the character's feelings. So remember, When we're looking at our book and we're noticing things in the pictures and the words about the character's feelings, we might want to take some notes. So today I was looking at this page and I see Baby Bear. He's climbed up in a tree to try to find his way home. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. And then down here we have Papa Bear. Look at Papa Bear. He has his arms up, his mouth is open. I bet he was out looking for Baby Bear, and now he found him. How do you think he's feeling? I bet he's feeling very happy or relieved that he found Baby Bear. So I'm going to do a quick jot on my sticky note. I'm going to draw Papa Bear. And Papa Bear wears glasses. And he looks like he's happy because he's found Baby Bear. So let me see. Father Bear, sorry. I'm going to write his name. Father Bear. And I'm going to write the word happy. So there's my picture, my jot. And I'm going to stick this right on that page because I feel like that's an important part that I noticed in my book. Okay, friends, you just saw me take some notes by jotting on my sticky note about how another character in our book is feeling about dad. So your job today is to do this as a reader. While you're reading in your book, keep a sticky note or your notebook or your whiteboard nearby so when you notice a character and their feelings that you can jot it down too.